Hey, how's it going, Nostalgics? It's Ryan from the Nostalgia Factory here. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I figured that I would do a short little impressions video of Castlevania Symphony of the Night on the PS1. Absolutely love this game. This honestly has been one of the best, not just retro classic games, but one of the best video games I've played in such a long time for so many reasons. I am planning on coming out with an official Nostalgic Blast review. That review probably won't be out for a little while, simply because those are the videos that I have in mind. But this review is also something I want to make a bit more special, something I want to put more thought into, to write out a script properly, to know what kind of gameplay I want to incorporate in it. So, I'll give you guys my general brief thoughts on the game, without going into too much detail, but some general overview. For one thing in this game, I can tell you straight off the bat, the graphics are absolutely amazing. The, the team who worked on this back, back in 1997, I believe this game was released, they did an amazing job. Definitely one of the best Metrovania games out there, graphically and by far musically. This game has some of the best soundtracks I have ever listened to in a video game. Two tracks that I listen to actually in the car, believe it or not, are the Dracula's Castle theme, which is actually a large amount of uh, uh, PS1 owners' classics, like favorite classic songs back when they played the game. And then uh, Dance of Gold, I believe, is the next song. I believe that's the laboratory theme. Um, in Dracula's Castle, but I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head, but I believe that's it. But musically and graphically, this game is absolutely amazing, right off the bat. The combat in this game is absolutely riveting as well, aside from the graphics and music, of course. It's always so amazing, the fluid motions that you go through, the various enemies, the very, very unique and diverse, actually. Probably one of the most unique games in terms of there's probably about 100 enemies in this game. I would not be surprised. And the secret areas are an amazing addition as well. Granted, in the latter half of the Inverted Castle, it does get a little repetitive at times, especially when you uncover an area you expect to find a good weapon. Sometimes, if you've grinded enough, that the weapon's not good enough and it's not really worth selling. And in addition to that, you can also find some potions and whatnot that at that point in the game, you don't need. So it can be kind of disappointing. The first half of the game is definitely the best for it, but it's still cool to go in and find these secret areas because it makes you feel like a boss just going in. And that's all really my thoughts so far, guys. Again, a relatively short overview. I didn't really go into too much detail because, again, when I do the review, I really want to go in more depth and detail about everything that I love and some criticisms I have toward the game, but to be honest, there's not that many. But that's all I'll say about that for now. Thank you guys once again for watching. Um, let me know what you think, think about Castlevania in the comment section down below if you do want to. And once again, guys, to everyone who supported this channel and, you know, who's new to the channel or anything like that, thank you for sticking with me. Hopefully you guys will stick, you know, stick with me more in the future as I continue to try and involve the videos as much as I possibly can. And, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Thank you once again for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.